welcome to my thrifty Thursday. I got back from the thrift store a couple hours ago. I made lunch for our girls. Our girls just left and now it's getting towards evening. And I thought I would share with you what I got this week at the thrift store. So the thrift store for me is one day that I can just relax and take my time and just enjoy all of the amazing things that this thrift store has to offer. If it wasn't for this thrift store, I wouldn't be getting all these amazing items. So let me show you first what I got for free. I got both these baskets for free. This one is a perfect size to put some of my essential oils in, in my kitchen. So that's going back out in my kitchen. And I just thought this was so charming and it was free. And who can, who can resist a beautiful basket like this? Seriously, this is amazing. So I'm actually gonna put this in here. I still have some work to do in here. Oh. And maybe while I'm sitting out here, maybe I'll work on this, finish it up. Because once the snow starts blowing, I won't be able to be in here quite so much. But let me show you what I got for free. I am really watching my pennies these days and I did spend $12 though. That was a little higher than what I've been spending, but you'll see here in a moment. But I still like my old things. <laughs> this one was $1.50 and I use these all the time. Those of you who watch my videos, especially on a daily basis, will know that I use these things all the time because I'm always working with food and working with herbs and I absolutely love them. I just love the old scoops and they always seem to have them at this thrift store. This thrift store is MCC, it is Mennonite Central Committee and what they do is everything is nonprofit, and that goes to helping other countries and a lot of times you'll see a lot of the old Mennonite estate sales. So an old Mennonite families that are selling their their house, they will donate a lot of their items. This was amazing. So my friend picked it out, which I see her every Thursday morning and she watches my videos, saw this and said, Tessie, you gotta get this. This is where the expense came in, $4.50. But it is an apron. And it better fit me, that's all I know. So I am going to have to fasten it. Oh, let's see. <laughs> look, 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 look. It's going to fit me just perfect. Oh, I absolutely love it. It fits me perfect. Has the two pockets. So I will be wearing this in my videos. I can promise you that. Gingham. <laughs> I do love my Amish dresses. Now they're not really Amish dresses, but they look like them. And a company reached out to me, same company that provided me with this shirt. And they had some dresses for me and I'm really excited to wear them coming up in my Christmas videos. I hope you're not missing my Christmas videos because I've been putting them out. I have double videos some days. All right, let's get right into the else I bought. I paid $1.50 for this and I just thought it was so pretty. I use this for all kinds of projects. I'm always washing dishes, always making things at my kitchen table where you always see the video and I like putting this down and putting all kinds of different things down. That way it makes my videos look different. So you're not always seeing the same thing. So I did get that. It's really pretty, it's homemade. So I'm gonna put that right here. I'm taking all this stuff back in. And then, <laughs> I didn't even realize this. There you go. It is Pioneer Tessie. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing, almost the same thing as my apron. Well, now there you go. Woo! <laughs> no, it's not a handkerchief, but it's a beautiful placemat. And I paid 50 cents for this. So this and my apron are going to go together. Well, I hope I have my hair fixed up. <laughs> I really don't like editing these days, so I'm trying to do as little editing as possible. So you might see a lot of bloopers and you might see a lot of 
different things in my videos because, hey, it's life, right? Okay, so I cannot wait. I'm gonna be actually working on this tomorrow. This is the Village Candle. These are really, really expensive. Now, I do make my own candles, but this one was only 50 cents because, oh, it smells amazing, smell. It doesn't have a wick in it. So there's no wick in it, but I'm going to remount it and I'm gonna make it for little wax warmers. So I got that for 50 cents. And then this was calling my name at 50 cents. I just thought that was really pretty. It's homemade. I just love, and you know what it smells like? Hmm, smells like grandma's house. Okay, so what does grandma's house smell like? Well, my grandma Brew Baker was a real plain Mennonite and she was this really old little girl. Like she was just only like four foot nine, not even five foot. And she was very thin. I think she only weighed like 80, 90, 90 pounds. And it smells like her house. It smells like cinnamon sticks and molasses. <laughs> I know, I can't help it. That's what it smells like. Like baking. That's how grandma, she always smelled like, her house smelled like baking. All right, I got two more of these quart jars because I am starting to make gifts in a jar for Christmas. So I did pick up two of these. They only had two and I did get them. And then I got this candle. Home is where the cookies are. And it was only, it was a dollar but it smells so good. And I thought it was so much fun just to have a candle like this. And I just, I like the tin too. I like everything. I do, I just love everything. That's my problem. I don't have one hobby, I have hundreds of hobbies. And this I got, and this is a gem because this looks really, really old and I paid $2 for this. So I did, and I'm still on my less than $100 challenge. So I did spend $14.79. That was $4.79 more than what I should have spent. But that was the apron and I never see those aprons and I'm gonna wear it every day and I'm gonna wear it in videos. So, <laughs> you know, we always make excuses for the things that we enjoy, right? So I got that. You will not believe all of the things I am doing for Christmas time. I'm really excited, really excited to share with all of you. And then this I got for 25 cents and it was half off. And the cashier was like, um, I don't think there's anything in here. I'm like, oh yeah, keep looking. Cause it is pure rose oil. And I didn't even smell it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is so super duper strong. Pure rose oil. I don't know anything about it, but it's absolutely amazing. Mmm, it smells so good. So there you go, everyone. It's my Thrifty Thursdays. And I know you enjoy them, and I know that you love seeing what I get at the thrift store. Just about as much as I enjoy going. It's been something I have been doing now ever since I was married for 36 years. I've went to the thrift store one day a week. It was just my little guilty pleasure. Back when I first started, it was only $5 to see what I could get for $5 with three children. $5 with three children. So I had three children and I had $5 and I would see what we could all get. I'd get myself a little treasure and I'd always make sure my children had a little treasure as well. Yes. Wow, seems like yesterday in some ways and it seems like a lifetime in others. Isn't that how life is though? Well, everyone, I cannot wait to wear my apron. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow in a video I'm working on. Now you won't see that, of course, for a couple days, but I'm really happy with what I got. And now, while I'm out here, I'm gonna see if I can't clean up out here a little bit better and say goodbye to all of you. And no, I have no mice out here. So I had a product review many months ago and it was peppermint oil and it was made to be a deterrent for rodents. I don't have any mice in here whatsoever. And I am really happy about that because people have asked me, don't I have mice? Nope. 
You know, I could just talk forever. You don't understand how much I can talk. Oh my word, this smells amazing. People just don't get it. My, my love for herbs and spices and just the smell. Mmm. It just makes you feel happy inside. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling when you're growing inside and when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a happier day. It's such a good feeling. <laughs> Do you know where that comes from? Everything I do, I break out into song because I singing was my major in school. I loved singing. And so you will hear me sing and do a lot of funny things like that. Like, like it's a wonderful day in this neighborhood. A wonderful day for a neighbor. Won't you be mine? <laughs> People often say, oh, you remind me of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I hope you're not offended. And I think to myself, that is one of the highest compliments you could ever give me. Yes, I am childlike and I am like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I've always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, you might as well say, won't you be mine? Couldn't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Yep, won't you be? Please won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Except for I need the cardigan sweater and I need the tennis shoes. And then it would be complete. <laughs> I feel silly this, I feel really silly today. And I don't know why I'm not turning this camera off. I figured, well, if somebody wants to sit and listen to me a little longer, they can. Oh my goodness. I've been known to talk to myself too. And I do answer myself as well. You would hear me say, oh, Tessie, oh, Tessie, why did you do that? I'm almost done with these herbs. I just got a few, a couple more here that I gotta work on. You know, some people say I live in a fantasy world, but you know what? It's my fantasy. And you know what? I think everybody to some certain extent lives in a fantasy world. Why do you think so, so many of the videos are popular when they talk about cottage living? It's a fantasy world. Everybody on some level lives in a fantasy world. And you know what? There's nothing wrong in that. Somebody asked me just recently, well, tell us your secret. Why all of a sudden now are you so happy? Why are now you saying so much happier? It's because I learned that nobody's perfect and to love the skin that I'm in and love the difference of myself and love being unique. And once I realized that and stopped trying to fit in or stop worrying about what people say, I realized that I can be totally me. And that has been the biggest difference in my life. Okay, I think I will say goodbye to all of you now. I've been going on now for 14 minutes and 41 seconds. And that's 14 minutes that you can't take back, but maybe you don't want to, hopefully not. Hopefully I entertained you just long enough that made you feel happy inside. Bye everybody.